Hey, how's it going? So today I'm sharing with you guys all of these samples, decants, minis, and travel size fragrances in my collection. So I'm not gonna be going into detail of any of these fragrances, but I'll be sure to link videos that maybe do go into detail with the fragrances I'm sharing with you today, as well as list any information down below in the description box that I think may be pertinent to you. So let's just get into it. So first up, I have samples from the company Fragrances line, and this video is not sponsored by the way. And I'll link and list the videos down below that feature my first impressions of all these samples. And those videos include the name of all these fragrances as well and my initial thoughts on them. So next up, these are all of my samples and decants from scentsplit.com. Again, I will list and link all of the videos that I have featuring my impressions and first thoughts on these fragrances, because y'all, this is a lot, okay? This is a lot. But all the information with the videos that talk about these fragrances will be listed down below. Next up, I have three decant from the company Juliana's Perfume. First up, we have Call Me By Your Name, which is an impression of Guerlain's Gourmand Coquine, Coquin. And I have a video of my first impression of this, as well as the other two samples that I have for you, which are Juliana's Perfume's impression of Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, and this scent is called A Night to Remember. And we also have an impression of Beige by Chanel, and this one is called Simply Gorgeous. So these are all the samples I have from Kayali, and I have a video where I test these out for the first time, so I'll be sure to link that and list that for you guys. So next I have two samples from By Killian, and the first is Good Girl Gone Bad, and the next one is Bamboo Harmony. So I have three generous samples from Erin, and the scents are Mediterranean Honeysuckle, Rose de Grasse and Tuberose Le Joux. So next up I have all of my decants from Decant X and I will link the video of me trying these out for the first time. And next I have quite a few from the company Be Layered. First we have C'est La Vie, which is an impression of Lancôme's La Vie Belle. I have Sunshine Vibes, which is an impression of, let's see if I can remember. I see the image of the bottle, but Sunshine Woman, yes, yes, yes. The company name on the screen. I'm not doing that to myself, I can't remember right now. <laughs> but this is an impression of Sunshine Woman. Amouage, hey. Enchanted Garden, which is listed as an original from Be Layered. Dolled Up, oop, I think that got messed up when it leaked a little bit. But anyway, this is an impression of YSL Supreme Bouquet. First Kiss Exclusive, which is an impression of Delina Exclusive from Parfum de Marly. So next up we have Fuck Me, and this is an original creation, but to me and to many others, it smells like Olympia from Paco Rubin. Next up is Close Encounter. This is another one that's listed as an original, but it reminds me of Eli Saab's Girl of Now Shine. And last up, we have Seductive Tuberose, which is listed as like a single note fragrance. And funny, funny, funny enough, funnily enough, this is one that I almost gave away, but I recently watched Curly Scent's video where her man was talking about this being one of like the sexiest scents. And I was like, mm, I don't know, because whenever I have first smelled it on myself, or at least sprayed it, I was like, this smells way too mature for me. So I tried it again and the opening is super mature, but after about, I would say 10 to 15 minutes, you know, giving it some time to do its thing. When I smelled it again on my skin, I was just like, this is so sexy. <laughs> like it's powdery, sexy goodness. And I'm just like, wow. like. I was I was kind of annoyed that I gave up on this scent 
too quickly and I'm glad that I saw another person saying how good it smelled because it inspired me to give this another chance so I did and I'm happy so happy because y'all know I love two bros so <laughs> So next up I have Simply Belle and this came with an order that I got from fragrancenet.com. The next two samples I have are actually perfume oil samples which are impressions of perfumes and they come from the company Fragrant Body Oils. This first one is Joy by Dior and the next one is Punta Alla and I'm not sure the company that Punta Ala is from, but yeah. Next up, I have two men's fragrances from Dior. The first is Sauvage, and the next one is Dior Homme. I've got two Guerlain fragrance samples. The first one is Mon Guerlain Sparkling Bouquet. And the next one, which I'm totally considering getting a full bottle of, is Aqua Allegoria Granada Salvia. I've got J'adore by Dior. And last of my sample slash decants is Versace's Dylan Turquoise Parfum. Oh, that is not the last one. Actually, the last one is this one. And this is Dosan from Diptyque. Not sure why I've kept the box. I think it's because it's fancy as heck. That's probably why. <laughs> And I got this as a sample from included in my order from beautyhabit.com. So this is what the little sample looks like. Mm -hmm. So after opening my other storage container, I realized I have a few more decants to share with you guys, but they're not, um, they aren't singles. They're packaged with other decants. So first up, I do have Victor and Rolf's Magic Collection. And I will link the video where I explore these fragrances for the first time. And next I have all these really special decants from Bloom Perfumery. And I will link the video where I tried these crazy, crazy scents for the first time. These are all, for the most part, scents that were featured in their Halloween Dare to Wear special where they, you know, hand selected fragrances that had like a Halloween vibe to them. <laughs> oh man, watch the video, it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> In these two boxes, I have my decants. Well, they're called the perfume sprays um, from Demeter Fragrance. And I'll link and list the videos where I test these different ones. One of which is very odd fantasy scents. And the other is a video about smelling different Christmas scents and both videos feature me trying to guess what it is that I'm smelling. <laughs> so I have four minis. Yes. So I have four minis to share with you guys. I've got Kaoli's Eden Juicy Apple 01. I have Dior's Miss Dior Rose and Roses. I have Modern Muse La Rouge Gloss from Estee Lauder. And this last one, I don't remember the name of it, but this is from Bulgari and this is one of from their Omnia line, but I'll list the name of the fragrance on the screen for you. So now we're moving uh, to all of the travel sizes that I have. And let's see, okay. So first I have one from Be Layered and this is a scent called uh, Christmas in South Beach and I got it because it was described as like a creamsicle scent I haven't smelled this in a while but when I first got this I was like I don't get it but let me smell it now maybe it has like a just like a waxiness to it and it's not super sweet or super citrusy it's kind of like muted in a way so I don't get like a creamsicle scent at all but I, I kept it because I figured one day maybe I'll get what they were saying it's supposed to smell like. <laughs> Next, I have Angel Nova. And again, not sure why I've kept it in the box, but you know, sometimes I do things, don't know why. And this is from Glare. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I have Vanilla on Sense from Atelier Cologne. And at one point, I had Orange Sanguine from Atelier Cologne in the same like travel size, but that bad boy was used up very quickly because I think I was like using it almost every day or at least close to almost every, eh, not every day, because I would have been gone very quickly. It was definitely worn in the warmer weather and it was just an out of the shower scent, but Vanilla on Sense is like a fresh spicy vanilla scent that I do enjoy. And I know that Atelier Cologne recently pulled out of like uh, the North American market. So I guess I won't be seeing this scent in stores like that unless I go to, I think it's still available in Europe, I'm not sure. But either way, I'm glad I have been able to experience the company. I have a travel size of I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess by Killian. And I ended up getting this travel size first before I got the full size of the fragrance. I have Jo Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Next up, I have a trio of fragrances and these were all purchased in a, I guess you could say like a gift set and they're from Sara. So the first scent is Cherry Watermelon Ice. Next we have Rose Marshmallow Candy, which I think is an impression of by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, just because of how close it, were, how close it smelled to A Night to Remember by Juliana's Perfume. Not that it's like right on, but it reminded me of that. So there's a chance that this is an impression of Love Don't Be Shy. And then I have Hip Hop Red Apple. So last up, I have two travel sized fragrances from the house Juliet Has a Gun. And I have Not a Perfume Superdose. And Lipstick Fever. So yay, I'm glad I was able to share all of those scents with you today. I don't know why I was hesitating to like go through them all. I thought it was going to be a little bit more painful, <laughs> a little bit more difficult to do, but actually that was really fun to see and share with you guys what it is that I have. So I hope you enjoyed and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you later. Bye.